What is Juneteenth? Why don't people know about Juneteenth? Can everyone celebrate Juneteenth? Is Juneteenth a national holiday? Time to find out. By the end of this video, you will learn so many hidden facts, the misconceptions, how to celebrate it, and how to not offend people. This took a lot of research, so please give me a like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. Time to get educated. Let's get into it. What's up? I'm DJ Crystal Lake. You might know me from my TikTok or I teach the things that school doesn't teach you. Comment below TikTok family if that's how you found me. Today we're going to dive into all things Juneteenth. Starting with, what is Juneteenth? So it turns out that the United States of America has two independence days. One from when the US was freed from Britain and the other from when black people were freed from slavery. Kind of. Let me explain. On January 1st, 1863, the orders of the Emancipation Proclamation were put into action. This document was an order made by President Abraham Lincoln during the Civil War in America, which you might know as the war that led to the ending of slavery and created a nation. On one side, you had the Confederate states in the South, which were the slave states. And on the other hand, you had the Union states in the North, which were the free states. Then you had the border states, which were slave states that still wanted to be part of the Union. One misconception is that the Emancipation Proclamation freed all the slaves. And that isn't true. But why y'all got to lie? I just hit an Ariana Grande note, bitch. Lincoln's order was to end slavery forever in the Confederate states only, meaning the border states could still have slaves. This was done so Lincoln could keep the border states happy and on his side while they fought the war against the Confederates. Slavery didn't actually end until the 13th Amendment on December 6, 1865, which was a half year after Juneteenth. You might be thinking, but isn't Juneteenth a celebration that slaves were free? Here's what you need to know, but first, we interrupt this program to give you great news. My store is now having a sale. Find the link in the description or go to the website cutbycrystal.com slash shop. Thank you so much for everyone that has bought some merch. The black hat is going on fire right now. So make sure you get it while it lasts. Now back to the show. Remember when I said Confederate states were supposed to end slavery on January 1st, 1863? Well, Texas, who was Confederate, decided that they were going to act like Lincoln never ordered that. People who lived in other Confederate states started to move to Texas so they could keep their slaves. That's suspicious. That's weird. They were hoping that the Confederates would win the war so when the war was over, they could continue to keep their slaves. Keep in mind, Texas was breaking the law, but Texas did not care. Some people say it was due to a lack of Union Army representatives in Texas, so they didn't know, they found out late. And other historians are saying, Texas knew what they were doing. They knew they were breaking the law. They just wanted to keep their slaves. Comment below if you think that Texas knew having slaves was illegal. Now get this, no serious measures were taken to stop Texas until two and a half years later when a Union general named Gordon Granger and his 2,000 soldiers went to Galveston Bay, Texas and saw a bunch of slaves. They were like, what's going on? No ma'am. No ma'am. These slaves had no idea that they were supposed to be free almost three whole years later. On June 19th, 1865, Granger made an official order which explained that black people are not property. And if they work for you, then they are paid employees, period. Many black people said, I am gonna head out. Oh no, nah, we gotta go? They thought they were going to live a beautiful, new, and free life. However, they were still enslaved by violence. 
I'll talk about this a little bit later on in the video. It's intense, so get ready. What you need to know now is that Juneteenth was named after this day in Texas when Gordon Granger freed the slaves that were already supposed to be free. This day was originally called June 19th, but then it turned into Juneteenth. Other names for Juneteenth are Emancipation Day, Jubilee Day, and Freedom Day. Celebrating it back then was pretty tricky. Here's why. Let's jump to the next topic. How to celebrate Juneteenth. And can everyone celebrate Juneteenth? The government was intended to be of the white man, by the white man, and for the white man. Back then, segregation laws banning blacks to use public spaces made it very hard for them to celebrate. The threat of being killed by angry racist white people was also an issue. Black people needed a safe space. Some celebrated in their garden, church, home, and black people also went on to raise money to fund safe spaces like Emancipation Park in Houston, Texas. Black people wore fancy clothes to represent their freedom because in the past they were forced to wear rags as slaves. They barbecued, sang songs about freedom and hope, and they also preached. On the menu for Juneteenth was strawberry soda, strawberry pie, and red velvet cake. These red foods acted as symbols of the bloodshed during slavery. And of course, the Juneteenth flag adds a little bit more to the gathering. The first celebration was on June 19, 1866, but this tradition continues on to this day. I've included a list of Juneteenth items to get and a few amazing gifts that support equality and blackness in the description below. Many black southerners moved on to other states in the north and searched for a better life. This moving period was called the Great Migration. And guess what? Those black people took the tradition along with them. So people from Virginia, New York, and other states were celebrating it too. You might not have heard about Juneteenth in school. I'll tell you why in a bit. Juneteenth became more than just a celebration of the black people in Galveston, Texas who found out that they were free. Juneteenth was the recognition of the struggles of slavery and a celebration of freedom. This is why many people of all races and all nationalities celebrate it. We are all paying our respect to the black people then and the black people now. Which leads me to the next topic. Is Juneteenth a national holiday? Sadly, no. Y'all, Juneteenth is now a holiday. I just dragged the United States of America on this YouTube video and Biden just passed the bill for Juneteenth to become a holiday. By making Juneteenth a federal holiday, all Americans can feel the power of this day and learn from our history. The Juneteenth bill is passed. If you still want to see me drag America, just watch for this segment. <laughs> There's still a bunch of other great parts of this video left, so yes! <laughs> there are states that recognize it, like how they recognize International Pancake Day and Cyber Monday, and there are states that accept it as a state holiday. However, it's not a federal holiday or bank holiday. As of now, you won't have a paid day off like you would on July 4th, America's Independence Day. That's weird. A lot of people have argued that July 4th only celebrates when white Americans became free and that it's unfair to not have Juneteenth recognized as a national holiday. Comment below what your thoughts are about it. Also, if you are wondering if your state celebrates Juneteenth, then click the article in my description. It'll show you. There's also another problem that black people are facing. Juneteenth is not mentioned in the majority of textbooks in school, making it another reason why people don't know about it. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> And if you think that's the worst part, then you are wrong. Listen to this. There are no federal requirements to teach black history in the United States. So most schools are getting away with leaving out important black moments. Comment below if you heard about Juneteenth from someplace else other than school. Many schools are also flat out lying about black history, like saying slave masters treated their slaves like family. Now ask yourself, are black people really free today? Let me explain. When slavery ended, black people struggled to support themselves. They were constantly hit with violence and inequality. Even though slavery was illegal, racist white people were getting away with public lynchings, burning down black people's homes, and shooting them for fun. 
Black people couldn't vote, get paid the same, and they dealt with segregation. The military was there to provide food, shelter, and medicine to survive, but they didn't really protect them from the racism and violence that was set out against them. Black people are still getting publicly killed and targeted. They are still getting paid much less than white people. Their votes get rigged. If you didn't know that already, check out my video on gerrymandering right here, which also explains modern day segregation. And for the most part, they are still experiencing racism. That connection that black people have today to the black people celebrating the first Juneteenth is the fight for freedom and equality. We are still fighting for it. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. And that is why Juneteenth is so important. So how can you support Juneteenth? Number three, educate yourself. You're already doing that, so go you. You've learned about a holiday that most people have never heard about. Number two, you can create your own Juneteenth celebration. I've added a few essentials in my bio to get you ready for Juneteenth. And number one, spread the word. Spread the word with this video. Also, please give this video a like and subscribe if you learned something new. It's a great way to support this channel so I could continue making videos like this for you. Also, hit that bell so you can never miss an episode. This has been DJ Crystal Lake. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. Peace.